Hey YouTube, what is up? It's Jared Flores here. I'm going to show you how to activate your Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch on Freedom Pop Wireless. So before you could start anything to get your Freedom Pop phone working is to head up to your URL bar and enter www.freedompop.com forward slash BYOD. If you don't know what BYOD stands for, it stands for bring your own device. So once you enter that URL, you're bringed up to another page that says bring your own device ch uh, phone checker. So in order to do this, you will need to enter a zip code and email address that you already have or you can create one. So once you enter your zip code and your email provider, click check now and you'll be forwarded to this page and what you need to do now is enter a street address on where you live to see if you have 3G and 4G WiMAX or LTE coverage available in your area. Once you do that, click check now to see what options you have available. So once you enter that information, you'll be brought up to this page and it says here that I don't have coverage available at my specific address, but you can still choose and see if you have it anyways. The reason why I have provided this option or why I have gotten this option is because in my address I don't have 4G WiMAX available technically, but I really do, it just it's not showing up on their Freedom Pops website, but you just can click click anyways and you'll be provided up with the sign up page to what to do next. After you have entered uh, get anyways or it says we have coverage available in your area just click the little green button and it will give you this website to check your phone's MEID. If you don't know what MEID is it stands for your ESN number to check if your phone is in good standing condition if you have a clean ESN a CLSN means that your phone is in good standing conditions, you don't have an outstanding balance on your previous Sprint account, or your phone is not reported lost or stolen. So if you think uh, your phone isn't any of those options that I just described, then you can enter your MEID or your ESN and it will tell you if your device is in great standing condition. So to find your ESN number on your Samsung Galaxy S2, what you need to do is click the little menu option here and click settings and from settings you would want to scroll down to the very bottom and click about my device and once you click about my device you'll be uh, given several options here that says to show your network or your battery or legal information you want to select that and scroll down right here until it gives you an MEID number. You want to enter the number that says the DEC number. I'm going to cover this part up so you can't see my ESN. But you would want to click the DEC right there and that's what is your activation code essentially to activate your phone onto the Freedom Pumps network. You have entered your ESN number or your or the MEID number, you'll be brought up to another page which unfortunately I cannot show you at this moment because I have already activated my Samsung Galaxy S2 previously. So what would happen is that you'll be provided with your uh, name, your date of uh, when you have purchased the phone or when you got it when you're activating onto the Freedom Pop network and you'll be entering your credit card, your billing uh, account I would say your address and where you live in order to complete the transaction and once you enter all those details uh, you'll be brought up to another page saying that you have successfully activated your phone to the Freedom Pop network and once you do that it would be providing you instructions to update your ESN I would say your PRL and you'll need to update your profile settings as well so I'm going to show you how to do that on your Samsung Galaxy S2 so now that your phone was registered to the Freedom Pop network, you now need to update its PRL and firmware settings to accept the Freedom Pop network and activate onto its 4G and LTE network. So I just want to turn off my Wi-Fi here to demonstrate this purpose. So what you need to do is click the little menu button here and click settings on your, your Galaxy S2 and scroll down 
all the way up to where it says, let me find up here, it scroll down to where it says system update. Once you get to system update, you'll be provided with a few options here. There are four. It says update PRL, update the profile, and update your Samsung software, and as well as the firmware. What you want to do is first select the profile update. This will send a 3G and 4G signal to, to your device. So click the profile update and let it profile itself to update itself to the network. And as you can see here, it says the network is preparing your services so please wait so I'm gonna wait and let you know when it's completed once it has been completed your phone will say it has been completed and a restart would need to be given and we be brought back up to this page and in order to complete it now you just need to go back to go to the settings by clicking the menu button scroll down all the way to system update and click update PRL as you can see and this PRL stands for preferred roaming list and preferred roaming list means that it's going to put what networks it can be on such as it could be on the Sprint's 3G network and chooses what networks it can be activated on so you just want to simply click that and it says it's going to check for a PRL update and you wait and I'm going to show you what it does at the end. Once your profile has been updated and your PRL you'll get an uh, a notice from your PRL saying your PRL has been upgraded please plus OK to continue so just click the OK button and click the home button and once you do that you'll notice your phone will now say 3G you see that your phone has been activated on the Freedom Pop network now you want to check your email account associated with your Freedom Pop phone for more detail describing about your Freedom Pop account so now once you have done that you need to download uh, three special apps in order to configure your Freedom Pop phone to allow texting and calling to go through because a native dialer will not allow you to send text and calling because the way Freedom Pop works. So what you need to do is go onto your app store and look up an app called Freedom Pop. It's a free app. You just need to type in Freedom Pop here on the Google Play Market like so and a list of devices would pop up as you can see it says my freedom pop freedom pop messaging and freedom pop voicemail and freedom pop uh, chomp so what you need to click first is a freedom pop messaging you would want to install this app and once you install it you want to open up the app and it would say enter your email address to configure the device associated with the Freedom Pop account. So once you enter your account, you will be brought up to this home page here that provides you your email uh, for your texting, I meant to say. And you could send a text to anyone. Just select their number. It will automatically pop up your contact list and send her a message and say hi. And it automatically sends, as you can see here, it sends the email. I mean the text messages and in order to make a phone call just enter your number like so and you can make a simple phone call as well so you can see there and another thing you need to download as well is the Freedom Pop My Account which is a very handy app showing you how to access your information such as your data how many texting you have used how many minutes you have used to call it's a free app as well a lot of their apps are free and what it shows you is once you log into your account it shows you your basic usage as well and this let me show you this here is once you install it you just want to click open and it tell you to enter your freedom pop username and password as you can see here and click login and once it logs in and authenticates it provides you to your account so as you can see here it shows me that I have one minute uh, only used and I have 199 minutes available so you can see here I only used one text messaging and I have over uh, about a gig left of internet because I have the one gigabyte plan and I use Wi-Fi most of the time as well so it's a nice handy feature as well and it shows you more options about your plan that you have in available plans that are available such as 
the four gigabyte plan or the two gigabyte plan. So for example, if you just wanted the four gigabyte plan, it shows you here how much it costs in month, $34.99, which is still great uh, for the price because other phone carriers already charge more than that. So once you go back, it shows you your how much megabytes you have earned so far as well. So I have earned over 200 megabytes, which is pretty nice for free. And it shows you my uh, services that I have. You click my services, it provides you your account email and your name. And Visio voicemail, what this shows you is that it, for your voicemail to you work, you need to be subscribed to the voicemail service, which is only 249 which is a nice feature. If you want to download that app as well, you just want to go back to your Google Play Store and look up the Freedom Pop name and it will be provided on the third app so the Freedom Pop voicemail. Once you install this app, it's going to tell you to enter your Freedom Pop account email address associated with that and it will pop up your voicemail and steps how to set up your voicemail as well, which is a nice all nice in one visual voicemail feature. So once you have done all that, you have successfully activated your Freedom Pop phone, your Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch, or the HTC Evo 4G, and you could simply just go on FreedomPop.com, and now the web page will display a login to your Freedom Pop account and directly uh, take you to your account portal page for your Freedom Pop phone. As you can see here, it shows everything as well. And it's a very handful, useful website as well because you can share data with your friends and invite certain friends or if you have any friend requests. As you can see here, I have all these friend requests that I still need to accept. And uh, you would get 500 megabytes in total for having 10 friends extra a month, which is a handy feature. And it also shows you another handy feature, shows you how many gigabytes you have total with your friends and how much you can get. So I could get a total of 160 gigabytes. Yes, let me say that again, 160 gigabytes total with my friends, which is a lot of data I can use. Three, two, one. Another feature I forgot to tell you about is the integration using the Freedom Pop messaging app. How I said it only allows you to make calls for using that app. Another thing I have noticed is that you can use your native dialer as well to make a phone call and it will place the calls through the Freedom Pop app, which is nice. So if I click example for a number and call it, it would open up the Freedom Pop messaging app, which is a really nice feature as well. And that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about Freedom Pop or about the video, please leave me a message down below, a comment, and uh, find me on Facebook. If you just look up Deserts Tech, there's a Facebook page that I have there, or follow me on Twitter at Deserts Tech as well. And thank you so much. If you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Once again, I'm JR Flores. And Oh, have a fantastic evening, day, wherever you are right now.